right so this will flirt with you at the grocery store but not offer to pay for your groceries wait a minute <laughs> I'm shopping for things but not offering to pay for the things that I'm shopping for while you're trying to flirt with me. Are you stupid? The level of entitlement is off the charts. This woman really believes her entitlement. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to another video. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way in. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload new content. And you know what we're going to do before we get into anything? We got two clips today. Let's roll number one. So, this will flirt with you at the grocery store, but not offer to pay for your groceries? Wait a minute. <laughs> Get the f out of my face. I beg your pardon. What the f you think this is? I'm, I'm over here shopping for things and you're flirting with me while I'm shopping for things but not offering to pay for the things that I'm shopping for while you're trying to flirt with me. Are you stupid? Who the hell did you think you are? Like, the only way to win right now is to pay for the groceries. If not, move. Move around move around because you're definitely not moving on up thank you you see women women today they think like this they want something for nothing you expect a man to do what hey your groceries but what are you gonna do for that man we, we live in a society where women want everything but they don't want to give anything which brings me to clip two one thing i always tell women is if you have to be single for longer than you would like or longer than you expected just because you have high standards that's okay sometimes because they standards be too high though do you think women's standards are too high sometimes yeah i don't think they standards be too high you're, you're looking for the one person that everybody is ideally wanting mm. and not who you're supposed to be with. You're looking for a, a fantasy, but okay. you ain't a fantasy. You have to be your standards. 100%. You know, but a lot of people aren't their standards. They just want the easy way out. Yeah. It, it's not that it, there's no good men around or there's no good women around. You're, you're just not the type of person that you're uh, looking for. You have to change your type and your mm. uh, your appetite. So Definitely. you have to switch it switch it all the way up and be real with yourself. You got to pretty much lower your standards because there's somebody out there lowering their standards to be for with real. your It's head. not right. about lowering standards. It's about being realistic. Having your realm of expectations that you know are realistic for you. See, this is the thing. Women look at settling as a bad thing, but you settle each and every day. You settle for a job, you settle for pay, you settle for a nine to five, you settle for school, you settle for applications, where you want to live at, where you want to go to school at, what job you want to have. But all of a sudden, when it comes to settling for a man, oh my God, we don't want to settle. That's bad. Everybody settles. Let's keep it a buck. Think about it. You settle for where you're going to live at. You settle for the state you live in. You settle for the job you have. You settle for your commute to work. You settle. You settle on how many children you're going to have. And when we... And when we look at that word settle, let's look at that definition because I believe that we're using it wrong. So the word settle means to resolve or reach an agreement about argument or problem. Every effort was made to settle the dispute or to pay a debt or account. Your bill was settled by charge card in the legal dispute 
by mutual agreement. So let me get this straight, ladies. Where in that definition is settling a bad thing? Because you're using the word settle incorrectly. Notice the word settle is defined as to resolve or reach an agreement. Where is that bad? You think it's bad to settle? But yet, when we look at the definition of the word settle, there's nothing bad about settling. People settle every day. People settle a debt. People settle court and court. People settle disputes. People settle disagreements. People settle grievances. People settle money issues. But when it comes to a relationship, all of a sudden settling is bad. It's not bad. It's bad because the sisterhood says it's bad. And if the sisterhood says it's bad, oh yeah, it's bad. And see, a lot of women today, they're governed by the, the sisterhood of single women. If you look at the sisterhood of women, none of them are in relationships. They're all sitting around on YouTube, complaining about men, degrading themselves, but then they wonder why they're single. And you know misery loves company. The sisterhood is basically a bunch of miserable women that are happy being miserable and they want you to be miserable too. A lot of women, y'all do have high expectations. You want a man to make six figures and you don't. You want a man to drive a Mercedes and you drive a Honda. You want a man to make and live in a certain neighborhood, but you don't even live in that neighborhood. You want him to hang out at the country club and you can't even get in. You want what you cannot have. You get nothing. You lose. And it's like I say on this channel a lot. You can want what you want, but you can only buy what you can afford. And a lot of women are writing checks that they cannot cash. You lose. So they're getting bounced and they're getting declined. And we have a bunch of broke, entitled, delusional women out on this dating market. Everybody wants to know, what can you do for me? Nobody wants to say, what am I going to do for a man? Everybody wants to say, what I'm going to get. Nobody wants to say, what I'm going to give. Everybody wants to say, I'm going to get this, and I want, I want, I want. But nobody says, I'm going to give, I'm going to give, I'm going to give. That's the reason why relationships are imbalanced in today's society. Because you have the men that are giving and the women are taking. A relationship or any type of relationship, whether it's business, financial, relationship, marriage, a relationship is give and take. Not give, 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 take, take, take. It's give, take, give, take. And the women are taking, but not giving. And the men are giving and not getting. There's the imbalance. Ladies, what are you going to do if a man were to pay for your groceries at the store what would he get in return? A beautiful face? A night with him? What would he get? Would he even get a thank you? Or would you feel that you're entitled to them because you're a woman? And a lot of women believe that. Naively believe that, oh, I'm a woman, so society should bend over backwards just for me. Notice that there is an I statement. You're selfish. They don't want to give, but they want to get. And that's not going to fly anymore because men, we're tired of it. We're sick of it. And what happens? Instead of women changing, they don't care. They're just getting worse and worse. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content. And until the next video, Peace.